Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video. Guiding Light here and in this one we're going to be talking about some major updates coming to Fortnite throughout the week. Now as you guys probably already know, Fortnite Mares is about to start tomorrow morning and the downtime is at about 4am. So if you guys are trying to get in on Fortnite Mares and the entire event, they're bringing back the pumpkin launcher. And there's also a major patch going live as well and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. Now. Tomorrow morning, there's going to be a pretty big patch that we're going to need to download for the Fortnite Mares, and there's going to also be some server downtime. Now, once the servers are back up and ready to play, when you get back into a game, some things are actually going to be different. Now, if you guys have played the Soaring 50s game mode, you guys have probably realized that whenever you jump off of a cliff or any type of object, you can actually redeploy your glider in order to not take any fall damage. Now, Epic Games has actually decided that in tomorrow's update, they're going to make it so that you can redeploy your glider in actually every single game mode so in solos duos and even in squads if you jump off of a building or any sort of surface that is three stories or higher you're actually going to be able to redeploy your glider now this is actually pretty big news because this is going to change the way that people can play the game because now if you want to jump pad somewhere you actually don't even need to have a jump pad you can just build a staircase straight up into the sky and not even have to worry about anyone shooting you down taking fall damage or anything like that because if anyone does shoot you down you can just pop your glider back out and on top of that, even without the jump pad, you can use a ramp to get across the map with the ATVs as well. So if you use the boost correctly, you can actually rocket launch yourself all the way across the map. Now, me personally, I hate fall damage. So in a way, I do like this update, but there's always that person that you're fighting that likes to just sit in a one by one or just build like a maniac. And I think it's better if you can actually break their build to have them fall off of it. Now, don't get worried if this is something you guys aren't going to like, because this is only a change that they're going to make for the first week. And then they're going to get some feedback and see how it plays out. So... For the next week, it's pretty much going to be that you can redeploy your glider and then they're going to make it back to the way things normally were. So if it turns out that people didn't really like it that much, then we're going to see this stay away forever. But if it really seems that people have a better time with this game mode or with these settings, at least, then we're going to see this game mode stick around. So we're just going to have to wait and see. I'm honestly kind of excited for tomorrow's update because not only are we getting the Fort Nightmares, but I'm definitely going to have more fun in my matches by being able to redeploy my glider. I don't know if when I'm going for wins necessarily, it'll be better because I feel like in the last circle, people are going to play a lot differently with these new settings. But I think overall, when I'm playing with my friends or when I'm in squads, I'll have more fun if I can redeploy my glider. So I am definitely looking forward to tomorrow's update. Let me know what you guys think about this glider change that's coming tomorrow in the comments down below. And while you guys are here, I figured I would let you guys know about a couple of rumors that are going around as well. So if you guys are into cosmetic items or just new releases in general, I actually have some new rumors for you guys that you guys might be interested in. So if you guys take a look at a few screenshots here, we actually have a few rumors going around about some new items coming back into the item shop. So if you guys are a fan of the Reaper Scythe from Season 1, there's actually a small rumor that it will be making its return soon. So we take a look here at the Fort Nightmares picture that Epic Games put on their Twitter a few days ago. If you zoom in here onto the revolver that is here, we actually have a look at what looks to be the scythe in the background. So there's been some people that have edited this picture and have actually made it basically clear for you to see what I mean. So if you take a look here, the scythe is actually clearly displayed in the background of this picture. Now we don't really know what this means or why Epic decided to put this out here. But it is rumored that the scythe may be making its return so i figured i'd just let you guys know about that if you guys were wondering if that item was coming back because i know a lot of people are skeptical about whether or not that thing's coming back now on top of that as you guys can see in this very same image we're also getting a new weapon as well and there's also a little bit of a rhyme that epic games has been putting out every single day on their twitter feed and after today they've actually almost fully completed it so if we take a look here they have a bit of a riddle for us to solve now no one knows for sure what this riddle means specifically but what my theory on it is is that they're going to be coming out with a new game mode where people can team up together and to fight enemies that are from save the world i think that some save the world enemies are actually going to make their way into the battle royale universe and we're gonna to have to fight them together now that's just my theory on it not really sure exactly what that has in store for us but we have to wait and see over the next few days so hopefully you guys did enjoy this quick update video letting you guys know about the new glider update as well as some rumors that are going on as well just to keep you guys posted on everything that's going on with the fort nightmares right now now officially the fort nightmares launches tomorrow morning so it should be about 12 hours or so after watching this video that the fort nightmares will go live so i will be back with some more videos for the fort nightmares if there's new challenges or something specifically for that i will have you guys covered with guides and on top of that i'll have you guys covered with any sort of map changes or new weapons and stuff that they release so stay tuned for future videos and i will catch you guys in the next one peace